Good morning, beautiful lights. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. So, we're going to do something slightly different. If you're new joining us, my name's Lauren. I'm a SIA meditation instructor, um, fitness instructor, also a Reiki practitioner, so mind, body and spirit in this life. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to take some overarching energies from the Oracle, as usual, but this is based on the Lionsgate portal. Now, I'm doing this read simply because I've been told to by my angel spirit guides, but it's um, accelerated energy, okay? Between July the 28th and the 12th of August, it's a, you've got 16 days of acceleration on your spiritual journey, your spiritual quest. And actually, the 7th of August, whilst I'm doing this first thing in the morning, is the between the summer solstice and the equinox so it's actually divine timing to do this so what we're going to do is we're going to get a strong message we're going to see what the angel spirit guys want to say to you today and this is going to be your next 48 hours because we're going over into lying gates which is the 8-8 portal this is time for activation this is huge activation this is when i had my awakening in the spiritual sense hence it's called lying gates heart tarot so guys Let's see what they need to tell you. Highest energies, angel spirit guides. What do we need to tell the collective for the 8-8 portal, please? What do they need to focus on? Thank you so much. Okay, we've got a few. We're going to run with how they flow today, okay? We're not going to... Well, we always run with how they flow, but we're not going to... Um, control anything as per usual because controls from the ego sense and the angels and spirit guides they give you the message in which you need to see so we have akasha your guidance is divinely guided share your voice come out of the cave persecution expression star seed what lights you up and we have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so this is a spiritual message and what i got this morning in meditation was it needed to be delivered as a lion gates message so when you're going through a spiritual ascension and this is a powerful powerful portal guys um they want you to be aware of these frequencies coming in so with this message here i would do an akasha records meditation today if possible it's about awakening your inner self and your inner light um, and it's phenomenal it's extremely powerful so it's slightly different to how i normally read if you want to see my other readings please please go to videos and you will see them there and i do 48 hourly reads and i do obviously star sign reads we have world we have plane we have judgment we have patience mountain and star so we have be open to the new possibilities in all areas of your life. We have plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And this is tuning in and it's exactly what I've just said. So when you do an Akasha Records meditation, for example, this is when you... It's becoming whole with your whole self, with your journey of life, with the higher frequency of you and you learn about past energies and things you've had to learn previously and it's when the whole of you becomes one and it's actually a huge vibrational frequency shift. It's when everything starts to make sense to you also and all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle fit together. We have judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So again, they're telling you to soul search here and that's what i felt patience slow down change your attitude and clear your mind so make sure you're in the right frequency when you're doing this make sure you are grounded and you are protected at all times mountain know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious and we have star hard times are over look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity and this is the changing frequency that lion gate actually brings you it very much brought me anyway and i can say from personal experience what happened and it was a frequency shift i was in a place where i wasn't quite sure and i kept getting these messages about reading tarot because i'm third generation seer um and i went through a journey through the lion gates portal and it was just the clarity of such so so, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. As you can see here, she is journeying. 
she is journeying through the next portal of light and this is a high frequency energy guys it's very very high frequency as you can see she's got egyptology in the background here and here and here and this is sort of the clarification it's when all the stages of your frequency of energy become one and you start understanding more and more she's taken herself upon a journey share your voice come out of the cave persecution expression you need to express yourself when you express yourself in certain ways you know always do it from a place of love that is so very important but you can be direct and from a place of love also know that and when you voice yourself and voice how you're feeling then you are free of the negative energy do you see what I mean? Because if you if something puts you in a vibration where it lowers your frequency, then what happens if you voice it and say, well, actually, that's made me feel in that way, then you feel free. You're not putting that on somebody else. You're just describing how it's making you feel. And it's very, very important. Now, this is sharing your voice in all ways. You could be wanting to do a YouTube channel, for example. You could be wanting to sing. Please do it. It's high vibrational. And also we need more light workers. So I encourage absolutely everyone just to take that leap of faith in yourself. Starseed. So are you connected to starseed energy? Starseed, what lights you up? Do what lights you up. What sets your soul alight? You know, that wand of energy we continuously talk about. Get it going, get it moving. That creative energy is high frequency energy. And what happens, especially if you are a starseed, you need to project that energy. If a starseed, for example, is not projecting in their creativity they become stagnant they become frustrated they become angry so how you change and you transmute that energy into light energy is you need to make sure your creative wand is activated and allowed to be activated pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so let's get some messages here for our beautiful beautiful watchers Angel spirit guys, what do they need to see? So we have the nine of wands, we have the world energy, what else? So this is a completion of a cycle. So we have the eight of swords, the nine of pentacles and the three of swords. So what that's telling me, and at the bottom we have the king of cups, which is a cup of love. This is remaining balanced at all times. The nine of wands are tell, telling me that you're persevering towards completion. And then we go immediately to the world. This is completion. So the nine of wands is using that stamina that is using your inner self and your inner strength to ignite a part of you that needs to be lit. Just as I said, you're your energy as you can see this person here is lighting the wands of energy just as i've said thank you angel spirit guides and this is towards completion with the nine of wands the nine of wands is inner strength it's self-assurance it's that perseverance it's that stamina you need towards the end of this cycle and as if by magic the world pops out which is the completion of the cycle this is the doorways to the secrets of the universe this is your akashic records here and what happens is you are journeying forward and you are stepping through a portal you know this is the new beginning it completes the fool's journey is success it's fulfillment and what I very much believe in the messages today is because I'm a meditation teacher as well that you need to journey as in a meditation a 10 minute meditation is absolutely fine and what happens when you step through the portal of light into a new frequency everything around you will shift and that vibrational frequency will shift there are plenty of lion gates portal activation um meditations out on youtube you will feel the frequency with the first 10 seconds i say that to everybody make sure you ground protect do a salt bath which is a great way of doing it and then connect in so the cycle is completing and a new journey is embarking you are moving forward blindsided that's what it's telling me here with the eight of swords and you're a little bit apprehensive about it but taking that leap of faith in you is absolutely essential this is for your independent parent to grow the garden you choose you are going to have to leave some things behind because this is a shedding of frequency also when you journey into a new chapter you can't take everything through with you and you know that can hurt your heart i'm just going to take some more clarifiers now can we clarify the nine of wands please angel spirit guys the nine of wands what do they need to see for the nine of wands we're just doing it as we go guys today so yeah the nine of wands it's going to bring your wealth uh the completion of the cycle is going to bring your wealth here with the king of pentacles now 
Also, the King of Pentacles is the king of the manifestation into the practical sense. And what it's telling me here is whatever you're working upon, you are completing. And this is just working upon as in the physical sense, but it's also so the spiritual and energetical sense. So what it's saying is whatever you're working upon is going to be very fruitful for you. Can I have some more on the world energy, please? The world energy. What is this cycle that is completing? You are. It's to do with communication. And as they've said here... Uh, da, 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 use your voice so use your voice within this communication you know whatever that might be for you because it's all playing out for you here you need to complete this you need to communicate you need to put your energy and your frequency in a vibrational sense and this sort of communication he's very he's had a rebirth of energy as you can see the um, beautiful butterflies are behind him and he wears a crown with butterflies on them but he holds the sword of truth so truths are coming to light and what it's telling you is communicate at all levels levels when it comes to the world cycle you need to be honest you need to speak your truth you need to use your voice in a situation now eight of swords please angel spirit guys eight of swords thank you so much we have the seven of cups and we have the queen of wands so you're moving forward for something you've manifested the queen of wands makes a project real there are many choices which is what's putting you in the victim mentality state and it's making you feel a bit vulnerable in a situation so what you need to do as i've said is tune in because when you tune into your intuition and your higher self you gain that clarity moving forward and and it enables you to move forward and drink from the right cup because as you can see they're full of very very pretty things and everything is not as it seems so what it's saying is use your wand of energy use your intellect at this time the nine of pentacles angels thank you we have the empress and we have the queen of cups so this is for something you're expressing into the world this could be a communication of such as i said if you're a youtuber absolutely go for it we need more light energy please stay in the light and keep it positive because we're changing the vibrational frequency currently so the nine of pentacles is that independent power and growth and it's growing your own garden this is something you've expressed into the world as the empress now the empress is the highest queen guys and what it's saying here with the queen of cups is remain balanced at all times holding your cup of love and that's so very important for as i've just said make sure you're serving from heart energy um, from the right vibration you cannot serve from an empty cup I cannot tell you I'm very very straight to the point you cannot serve from an empty cup if your vibration is in the wrong frequency then you are putting that into the cards you will see a change in frequency and I'm not being awful to other tarot readers but a lot of the time they're putting their vibrational frequency into the cards which is causing the shift of negativity and you only can get positive cards like we've got here is when you're at the right vibrational sense so what it's saying is expressing to the world be who you are make no apology for it as you can see she wears pomegranates on her dress this is abundance of life this is abundance of fruit this is abundance of your very very being and what it's saying here is hold the wand of energy and create this new vibrational frequency and work because you're growing your own garden just remain balanced even on rocky waters the queen of cups still holds her cup of love she's very psychic she's very in touch with her abilities and the queen of cups is loving spiritual empathic and artistic and it wants you to get that flair now we have the three of swords angel spirit guys some more information on the three of swords what's this all about please the three of swords thank you so much starting effort something's hurting your heart it's not going fast enough what else but you are going to karma waters and at the bottom we have the star energy which is absolutely phenomenal so what they're saying is move forward it might have hurt your heart but you need to continue the, the knight of pentacles is telling you to go 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 and it's going to karma waters so angel spirit guides let's double up so we have the world be open to the new possibilities in all areas of your life. They want you to express yourself. And this can be talking about communication. Again, we've got the world, we've got the world, we've got the world. So that is the completion of that cycle. And you could be communicating with the world. Now, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Patience, slow down, change your attitude, clear your mind. Now, this could be to do with this we haven't got temperance but because this is slow going it's hurting your heart but what it is saying is it's going to calmer waters so you've been on rocky waters and it's moving forward now when the six of swords actually comes out and it comes 
out with patience here. This is earned success and you're sailing towards a brighter future. Now, it's been a mountain for you to climb. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Make sure you've got your angel spirit guides on your side. Make sure they're there for protection. This is bringing your star and here at the bottom, of course, we have the star. So we have double star energy. This is you tuning in with your higher self. This is you tuning in and following that star of frequency. Just as I said, it's like a switch in energy and in going through the portal. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. This is dream desires coming true. And your angel message today was abundance and it was that acceptance of such. So this is dreams coming true type of energy. And we've got the King of Cups, which talks about your beautiful, beautiful heart energy yet again on the bottom here. And they want you to remain balanced at all times. When you serve from heart energy, you're serving from a high vibrational frequency. When you're serving from a high vibrational frequency, which these is like the star seed energy here, this is what lights you up because you're serving from heart. Whenever a star seed serves from their heart, it lights them up. It's star seed, it's light beings, it's it's light workers, whatever you choose to call it in the three dimensional existence, that is serving from heart energy. Now, star seeds, we call them star seeds because they're beautiful galactic energies that have come into this frequency to experience life, but lift humanity to a different frequency level which is absolutely glorious. So, you know, star seeds, they watch and they teach and they light others up. And what it's saying is your dream desires are coming true, my beautiful collective. I had to read this like this today. Obviously, Wednesday will be a different one because the angel spirit guys told me to because this is about a portal of energy and they want you to journey and find who you truly are. And the only way you can find who you truly are is to journey through the portal of light. Make sure you are grounded, do a salt bath, stand on the earth, ask for Michael to come into you to protect you and then you journey away because it's absolutely phenomenal. And the experience you get through the Light Lion Gates portal is so significant, it will shift your frequency in such a way that you didn't even know it was possible. And I can't tell you how important it is. So this is obviously when I had my awakening, as I said, hence the channel's name. It was... It, because it's an accelerated energy, it can shift you quite quickly. So just be aware you can have, as you can see, they've pushed that up. You will have to leave things behind and it can hurt your heart because it's a change in frequency, but this is a shedding of energy. So make sure you gift yourself time. Make sure you gift yourself love during this time and self-nurture. I'm just going to take one of these. Any more messages that a beautiful collective need to see from this deck, please, Angel Spirit Guides? What do they need to see? No, sorry, they've just told me to take an, a number. So, okay, Angel Spirit Guys, what number would you like for our beautiful, beautiful collective, please? What do they need to see today? On the 7th of August, ready for the Lion Gates portal tomorrow. What do they need to see? Thank you so much. We have zero. There we go. This is a new frequency of energy. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. We're starting again with a fool's journey. The world, the world is completion of that journey. And this is a new frequency of energy coming into you. And this is why they wanted me to read like this today. So this is very exciting, guys. Go through Lion Gates portal, tune in, tune into your inner self and your higher self. When you become one with your higher self, your world sits in alignment. You get clarity after clarity. You will see constant angel numbers. You are following a path of light. You are igniting that part and that one within you that creates this new vibrational frequency around you so there you go my beautiful collective i hope you've enjoyed that um that was a very strong and very awakening message because that is exactly how it was meant to be if this resonated with your heart give me a thumbs up they're completely private if this is your message and you want to talk to me because i love speaking to you i love saying hello even if you give me a heart or a hi i love it um pop a comment in the messages below and until next time my beautiful beautiful lights i will see you wednesday morning and don't forget your daily angel messages from my heart to yours bye bye for now